Good morning and welcome to Sunday Morning Beers. Tracy, what do you drink uh, the morning after the Michigan Brewers Guild Festival? Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary's not just a beverage, it's a meal as well. Yeah, it's in the way. Yes, uh, celery, just such a nasty little decoration. <laughs> So anyway, so we did survive the Michigan Brewers Guild Festival in a hot, hot day, a hot, hot week last week. I hope it's better this week. Mm. But now it's time to get ready for the real beer festival. And that is the third annual Brewhaha, which will be Saturday, July 30th from 12 to 8 p.m. <coughs> but first, before that, believe it or not, uh, with all that's going on on Saturday, it's hard to believe, but Four Street Brewery is actually coming out with another beer, sort of a, uh, a brouhaha kickoff on Thursday, July 28th at Which 8 o'clock. Which you call a brew. A brouhaha. Brouhaha or a, a, a brew giggle. A brew giggle. It's not, it's not hilarious, it's just funny. Uh, that is uh, Thursday. We'll be tapping our 180th cast condition ale. It's called Alligator Berries. And what it is, the base of the beer is the very popular and refreshing Summer Sensation which uh, is different every year. This year it's made with equal parts barley, wheat, and tapioca, fermented with a Belgian yeast. And to the cask was added uh, lychee juice. Hmm. Uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with uh, lychees, a delicious fruit. It's native to China, very popular in China. Uh, it does grow in uh, warmer areas of the United States, and down south they actually call them alligator strawberries because the outside of it has sort of that alligator skin and, uh, you know, you peel that off of there, and the fruit inside is delicious. It's mm. been described as sort of a fusion of strawberries, watermelon, and grapes. Huh. So on a hot summer day, pretty hard to beat that. So that's what's inside the cask. You know, there'll be the usual, the prizes, uh, Bobo the Clown, uh, pony rides, all that kind of good stuff at 8 o'clock. So uh, make, sure you come on, you make sure you come on out for that. And then uh, Saturday, the big day, starts at uh, 12 noon, 12 to 8. Uh, doors will open, and uh, there'll be tickets at the door. Uh, it's $5, gets you your very, very cool brouhaha mm -hmm. mug, mm -hmm. uh, which will be what you'll use to get your beers in all day long. That gets you your mug and your first beer. Which is and a 10-ounce uh, mug. And then additional beers are just $3 for uh, every other beer. Mm -hmm. And 15 beers from 4th Street Brewery on tap, and 8... Uh, more beers from other breweries yes. and uh, you know it'll kind of look normal on the inside uh, but then uh, we'll also have a uh, set up back in the brewery and outside on the patio uh, inside there'll be the normal uh, seven regular beers and three new beers and then out on the patio uh, five new beers um, Voodoo Brewing Company will have their four beers out there Buckeye Brewing Company will be back in the brewery, and they'll have their four beers back there. The big garage door will be open. You can even come through the big garage door. There'll be tents along the back with uh, some stuff going on that Tracy will tell you about. First, I'm going to tell you about the Fort Street Brewery beers that are on tap. Uh, we have, uh, you know, all of these new beers that were brewed for this were brewed on our little half-barrel Pico Brewing system. And uh, that is uh, interesting because Mike O'Brien, uh, who invented... Uh, Pico Brewing and uh, made all of those little systems uh, is actually going to be brewing on yeah. our Pico Brewing system on Saturday. He's going to be brewing a Belgian style spruce pale ale. So yeah. that'll be fun to uh, watch that. But anyways, we have brewed over 300 batches on the little Pico system and batch 300 is actually going to be tapped at Brouhaha, appropriately called 300. It is a 300 IBU Imperial IPA. If you like hops, you must try this beer. Uh, we also have Pliny the Elderberry Stout, which is a uh, sweet stout made with elderberries. Uh, Pseudo Pear Sake, which is uh, kind of like a sake, tastes like a sake, made with pears. Very uh, delicious. Uh, we Don't Need No Stinking Glutens, which is an imperial IPA made with uh, tapioca, sorghum, and brown rice. So no glutens in it. If you have celiac disease or just like to uh, eat a gluten-free diet, you can uh, mm -hmm. have that beer. Sailing Down the Scheldt, which is a Belgian-style pale ale. Uh, Belgian-style pale ales are not super hoppy. They do have a hot flavor to them, but they're really nice, uh, sort of like a Belgian session beer. Hmm. Uh, bourbon Trail Ale, which is a sour mash corn ale aged in a bourbon barrel. Um, so it's pretty, pretty unique wow, beer. Wow, pretty extensive. Uh, right there. Boomtang, which is a uh, sort of like a wit beer, but it's made with rye instead. It has uh, orange peel in it. Very dry, fruity, refreshing, 
the perfect thirst quencher on a hot day, and then Farm for Sale, which is an American twist on a French farmhouse sale. So try the farm, buy the farm, that's Farm for Sale. So what else uh, for beer? Well, for our guest breweries, we've got Buckeye from Cleveland and um, Buckeye Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, we can't fight. Can't fight. Um, they're bringing four beers with them. Uh, 76 IPA, mm -hmm. which is a Very good beer. beer that they always have available. Mm -hmm. uh, Hipster, which is a cream ale. Mm -hmm. Wheat Cloud, which is a Hefeweizen style. And Engine Mild, which is a mild ale. Mm -hmm. Perfect beer for uh, a hot day when there's a lot of uh, mm -hmm. high alcohol beers there. Yes, yes. And then Voodoo, which is out of Meadville, Pennsylvania, are bringing four beers as well. Um, Pilsilla, which is an Imperial IPA. Mm -hmm. That's a good beer. Grand Met, a Belgian style ale. Four Seasons IPA. And then the fourth beer is a surprise. Well, so that one will be announced at the festival. I like surprises. Or the Brouhaha. Mm -hmm. I like so, surprises. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What other kind of things? Uh, um, well, well, now getting into things that will be available for purchase. Um, the Brewery Anna Collectibles group will be there, and you can buy all kinds of really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. and Old brewery uh, signs and mugs and. Uh, just uh, all yeah, kinds of cool stuff that you'd are, like to have displayed on your house. Right, the prices are reasonable, so you're not paying an arm and a leg just to fix up your bar. Mm -hmm. um, and there's really, really cool things. And then um, I will be making some what I call multi-purpose bags, which are made out of the old uh, malt, bags. malt bags that Doug mm -hmm. uses for brewing. So we've got um, those for purchase as well. Mm -hmm. um, and um, then... You can That's going to be out back uh, yeah. on the sidewalk behind the uh, right where the big garage door is. Mm -hmm. so you can mm -hmm. you can walk past that and then come on in through the brewery. Uh, Buckeye beers will be on tap there. Michael okay. Bryan's going to be brewing. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So on to the next thing. When you're drinking, you're going to need something to eat. Mm -hmm. So cuisine. we've got some um, specials for brouhaha. Uh -huh. A whole menu of stuff made with beer. And a few of those things are. The beer braised rabbit. Mm -hmm. Delicious um, rabbit. Tastes like chicken. I don't know about that. <laughs> um, Carbonade flamand, mm -hmm. which is a Love fancy that. French dish. Belgian stew. Oh, it's Belgian mm -hmm. style too. Okay. Um, beer battered prawns mm -hmm. and beer rocks, which is a Doug B brainchild of sausage and cheese wrapped in dough. Mm -hmm. Do you Just get a dipping sauce with that? Yep, get a dipping sauce. Uh, everybody likes dipping sauces. Yes. Preferably ranch, I think most people like um, ranch. Yeah, and salsa. <laughs> but we're actually making a, uh, we're actually making a special uh, dip for that. It's going to be a raspberry oh. dip for that. There's lots of other things. Those are just sort of the highlights of the beer cuisine, which will actually be available starting on Wednesday. Um, hmm. So, And then uh, also, uh, live music, because what would be a beer festival without music? Starting at uh, 2 p.m., Odd Man Rush. And if you don't like, you know, loud music, if you just like to drink your beer in comfort, the music's going to be outside. So, you know, if you want to get away from it for a little bit, come on inside. But it's not going to be too loud anyway. So. No. But uh, that's Odd Man Rush. They're going to play from 2 to 5. And then uh, McSpillin is going to start playing at 7. They'll probably play till about 10, 10.30. So it's not just uh, going to end at 8 o'clock. You, uh, mm -hmm. you can stay later than that for sure. Yeah, the brewery's so. up until 2, so. Yep. So there you have uh, Brouhaha. You have uh, actually 23 different beers on tap, including a bunch of new ones, mm -hmm. uh, live music, beer cuisine, brewery collectibles for sale, a brewing demonstration, hmm. multi-purpose bags. Yeah, you're going to be uh, exhausted by the full, end of this day. A full day. Tickets at the door, uh, like we said. So, so if you come in the back door, make sure you make your way to the front, front door. door to that's tickets. the only way you're going to yep. be able to drink the specialty beers, yep. any, or beers. any beers, any I'm sorry, beers, any beers that day is with the mugs. And then there'll also be a, a second food booth, so in case you know you can't get a table and you think, how am I going to eat? There's going to be a sort of handheld foods uh, for sale with a little uh, food booth in yeah. the corner. So, so uh, lots going on. It's going to be a fun day. Lots of work for us to get ready for that, but uh, we're very much looking forward to it, and you should be too. We're going to see you on Thursday, That's right. and then we'll see you again on Saturday. Have for a great Brubaha. week. Have a great week, everyone. Cheers.